You might order Golo weight loss meals or use their natural supplements or their Golo for life plan. Yeah, it's basically improving insulin sensitivity, um, helping your metabolism, metabolism function more efficiently. You might not know that Golo was founded and is based in Newark, Delaware, and on this day they're showing Delaware Senator Tom Carper around their recently opened huge new facility in an industrial piece of Wilmington working to make a comeback. This is a six-day-a-week operation that employs dozens of workers, and they plan to add more here because they're confident demand for their products will keep going up. They've had to upsize their facilities a number of times in recent years to meet demand. 14,000 packages went out yesterday, and another 14,000 will go out today. Golo supplements are manufactured in California. They have a distribution center in Las Vegas, but the family that lives here in Delaware and co-founded the company here, they say this piece of northern Delaware, logistically and geographically speaking, is absolutely critical critical to the company's success. So we're two days away from getting packages to Miami and two days getting them to Maine. So we have a lot of the U.S. population within reach of packages getting to them quickly. They ship many of their products in dry ice that they now make here on site. As frozen food and heat and eat meals products grow, there's a, a need for dry ice. They say they're now one of the biggest dry ice makers in the mid-Atlantic and even sell dry ice to other companies that need it. Golo's focus is on their own mission, though. They're giving Delawareans plenty of work by selling an affordable weight loss lifestyle concept that they say also works. We try to tell people don't cut carbs, don't cut fat, you know, eat balanced, and that's why it works. I think getting people off processed foods has been the big benefit to people where they, after a week or two weeks, they go, I really feel better. They don't want to go back to those old habits. In Wilmington, Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.